Big Team Battle Refresh coming to Halo 5 as well as a 1v1 playlist. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another video. Today we're talking about a Big Team Battle Refresh. If you like these kind of news informational vi videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you guys would like to see in a refresh of the Big Team Battle playlist. And if you're new to the channel, wants to update with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell. Keep you notified. We, anything with Halo comes around. So let's get right into the video here. So a previous video I made back in December talking about how 343 was even thinking about removing the big team battle playlist from Halo. Now this is a playlist that's been in Halo since Halo 2. Since the inception of Halo Online, this is one of the core game modes that people pretty much always expect to have because, uh, you know, everyone likes using vehicles when it comes to playing Halo a lot of times. And it's one of the unique aspects of Halo. And then 343 was threatening to maybe even remove it based on the popularity of the mode. And I think it, I had made a video previously about it saying how it's not, just the, not that the big team battle is not popular, it's just because it's gotten so stale. Also the playlist does compete with the Warzone playlist on top of that so maybe they were looking to hopefully move a lot of big team battle players more over to Warzone because Warzone has been seeing a bit of a struggle when it comes to matching players because you have to get 24 players all together within a decent you know ping ratio and uh, it's you know it's been getting a little more difficult to find matches especially later at night. But 343 you can't remove big team battle it's it's one of the classic game modes that everyone always expects it was a, it was a big issue the Big Team Battle didn't release with Halo 5 during the first month. But when I was reading the recent Halo Waypoint update, I did see that they, that Unishek mentioned about that they're putting together a Big Team Battle refresh, which is very important. And so that's something that Big Team Battle has been needing for over a year because it's been the same terrible battle rifle on the same maps for a long time. And so I'm really looking forward to this refresh. And now in this video, what I want to talk about is what I would like to see in a Big Team Battle refresh. Obviously the main thing that this refresh needs is new maps. Now, not just like new maps that we can just play on, but new maps that function well. Ever since the last BTB refresh, I kind of gave you a lot of graphical updates. Uh, ever since then, it's almost every single BTB map has huge frame drops and it really messes with your aim. Like, I feel my, my, my reticle slow down with the frames whenever I'm trying to aim and it really throws me off when we dip below 60, sometimes 45 at frames I feel like. And that's obviously one of those things why people want some developer made BTB maps because uh, they're able to optimize this so where you can have smooth frame rates throughout the whole thing. Though obviously we're not going to be getting any uh, you know, developer made maps because of Halo 5 and it being so old and everyone's focusing on Halo Infinite, rather focus the efforts on there rather than make a new map for Halo 5. But uh, my big thing when it comes to new maps is that they function properly and able to maintain 60 FPS. I can't believe that a lot of these big team battle maps were able to make it into the final build with all the frame drop issues that happen because I know that's a big thing that people take in consideration when it comes to submitting maps into matchmaking. And so I know it can be really tricky with uh, Big Team Battle because obviously you have long lines of sight, a lot of things to render. You can't optimize rendering like you can with a developer made map. So uh, that's I don't care if it's like block shaded. I just would rather have it function properly than look extra nice. Another thing that absolutely needs to happen with the Big Team Battle if you're going to refresh it is to have a different starting weapon than the default battle rifle because right now the default battle rifle is just terrible it's terrible it's not fun it's outclassed by every weapon in the game at this point and it's just not fun to shoot because it's so inconsistent and difficult to use and it's range that's built for um, and so i would rather see something different maybe just start with the magnums or a halo 2 battle rifle even i don't know so, or i know something different i know they were looking into using the stabilization jet battle rifle but uh i did read on some forums that saying like unishek and i think even postums as well mentioned or some other 343 employees mentioned that uh, using the stabilization jet battle rifle was a bit too much of a laser beam when it came to playing big team battle and it made it really difficult to navigate through maps. Understandable because that was one thing I was kind of concerned about where a lot of people said use the Halo 2 battle rifle or the stabilization jet uh, because those weapons have very low spread and almost no recoil. The 
Uh, now the stabilization jet battle rifle absolutely has zero recoil to the weapon. That's kind of the point of it. Uh, and so, you know, it makes you kind of go, well, what weapon can we have as a starting weapon besides a default battle rifle? Well, if you recall my last big team battle video, actually a person who was involved with the making of the maps when it came to Halo 5's big team battle mode said this. Someone who was involved with the original development of the big team battle playlist, I, the creator of the map Scavenger, and was there at all the early lo test lobbies with Uni and other map creators before Big Team Battle Plays even entered the game, I can confirm that nearly every map that was designed for the original BTB playlist was designed and tested with AR pistol start. Battle rifles were added afterwards and not tested dur much during the development. The Forge Hub channel actually has an old work in progress vid showing some of the early lobbies using the Magnum. We were disappointed upon realizing 343 had swapped out the battle rifle for the pistol pre weapon patch a while back. The original battle rifle was extremely OP in BTB. Having it as a spawn weapon made the majority of the maps play extremely small and destroyed the segmentation by, dis by distance for some maps. It of course also took away from map control as no one needed to worry about getting the on map BRs before the other team. And the extreme accuracy of the BR made it easy to snipe gunners out of Warhawk. The Psycho Duck did a fantastic video explaining these issues more in depth uh, also on the Forge Hub YouTube channel. So according to this comment, this guy was involved with the original development of the BTB playlist and they kind of designed it with AR pistol starts in mind. And honestly, the pistol would probably be the best weapon to start out with when it comes to updating the BTB playlist because one, you get to extend out the segmentations of the map like were designed and you don't have to worry about getting sniped across the map. Though I know a lot of the community was crying for the battle rifle because it's kind of what is expected when it comes to playing the Halo, Halo BTB playlist because that's what, you know, that's been there since Halo 2. So to recap, new maps that function properly with the big team battle playlist is going to be very necessary. Even some throwbacks of some previous maps in the old Halo games, I'd be totally okay with. Also, maybe some reimaginings and also a brand new starting weapon. I think just going with the Magnum might just be the best option for its, it can actually function within its proper range. And also, like I said earlier, we do have a 1v1 play that's coming in the Halo 5, so you got that to look forward to as well. Now, like I said earlier, there is going to be a 1v1 playlist added to Halo 5, which should be rather interesting. My main issue with this is that I really hope it doesn't come with any developer made maps. These absolutely have to be Forge maps because I would it would be so boring to play a 1v1 like on Plaza or even Coliseum or something like that. You need to have some uh, unique Forge maps that are created and there are absolutely tons and tons of team doubles of you know, Slayer developed maps made in Forge. A lot of them are really unique and level designs as well. And it would be really fun to play around with in the 1v1. That'd be the one way I'd enjoy a 1v1 because I hate playing 1v1s in Halo or just any game in general, uh, mainly because they don't show actual skills, more of a who can play cat and mouse better. But if you can play on maps that are designed for this mode, then yes, it would be a lot more fun to play. You know, leave a link in the comment section down below what you guys would like to see in a 1v1 playlist. Uh, I mean, obviously it's probably gonna be AR, you know, Magnum starts, you know, sprint, sparring charge, all that kind of stuff in there as well. Though, personally, I would like to see the team arena settings put into it because I feel that having like radar on at all times in a 1v1 might be a bit much where I think uh, having it like how it is an HTS where you show up only on when you're sprinting or only when you're using your boost or something like that instead uh, just so it make it so you can flank around or move a little bit more freer on that settings than you can on the standard uh, Halo 5 core setting. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content, content like this. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about this Big Team Battle Refresh. What would you like to see in it? I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel and want to update with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe with the button. Keep you notified when anything goes up on the channel here. If you're new to the channel or you've missed any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.